Good to see you from wherever you're watching us. You're welcome to the Tuesday edition of the show. It's the first one for the week. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Well, it's nice to have you uh, with us today, as usual, in the world of sports. There's a lot to talk about. Um, talking about uh, European football, talking about world football, uh, talking about what's been going on uh, on the domestic scene. Uh, as precious day day in the news, she's been uh, talking about the Super Falcons, the issues about uh, changing curtains, uh, uh, you know, uh, just any moment. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that on the show as well. The Rugby World Cup uh, is going on as we speak. We'll talk about that uh, as well. We'll also talk about uh, Russia, they're back in the news uh, for the wrong uh, reasons. Uh, the IWF our president also has been defending the choice of Doha for uh, the Athletics Championship. Uh, he's going to have his say on the show tonight. So uh, that's the outline of uh, the show. Uh, it promises to be exciting as always. There's a lot to talk about, a lot of ground to cover on the show tonight. Of course, the uh, best FIFA awards is gone, but I'm very sure a lot of you will want to say a thing or two about it. Were you expecting Lionel Messi uh, to uh, be given the award again? Were you expecting that? So, uh, on the basis of that, let's just have your say on a whole lot of issues. In case you're joining us for the first time, this is how you can do just that. Uh, be a part of the show tonight. Let us know how you feel. Give your opinion on all the issues that we've uh, uh, lined up for you. That's it. That's it right there on your screen. Uh, on Facebook, Channel Side for Sports. On Twitter, Channels on, at ch underscore Sports. That's how you can get your views across. We always like to let you know uh, that this handle is verified. And so, uh, let us know. Uh, what you feel, how you feel about these issues that we're talking about, uh, the Athletics Championship uh, coming up very soon, uh, talking about the just concluded FIFA Awards, also uh, talking about uh, UEFA, uh, the, the decision UEFA has taken uh, to, pre to warn countries uh, in that association not to play friendlies with countries that do not allow uh, women to come into the stadium. That just happened uh, today. We're going to talk about all of that on the show. Let me just quickly uh, introduce uh, my partner on the show today. Uh, Katie Idris joins me once again uh, to take the trip across the body spinning world of sports. Katie, it's good to have you join me today. It's always nice, you know, being with you, Jeremy. All right. Uh, so, what, uh, th there's a lot to pick from, but I mean, of all that happened today, what was the high point for you? I think the highest point should be Precious Day Day, you know, talking about the Falcons. We were here last week, Tuesday, and I made mention of, you know, barely two days into the job, talking about caretaking the Super Falcons. And Dan Juma, you know, swiftly went for, you know, uh, picking up a new captain. I, I, I knew that was going to, you know, uh, uh, bring about a lot of controversy because on that day, we, we both were not able to register if there was any communicating with uh, Desire Paranose mm -hmm. or Nome AB, you know, in in any way to let them know, okay, you'll be relieved of your captaincy job. Now it will be as as sure as you know, uh, uh, um, call and all. I think these are issues that are too, too, you know, petty and too, too controversial for you to, you know, start with mm -hmm. on a job. This is the senior level. It is not the under 20. I guess some people don't understand it. Maybe if you're coming from that under 17, under 20, you always feel, you know, you could replicate what you did with the under 20 with the senior team. A whole lot of, you know, uh, um, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, 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 you know, going against your decisions yeah. because these are top girls. These are girls who play in the top tiers in Europe, before America you know and all. Before you know it, there's friction in the team. It is already causing friction because if we are not hearing from any of the players, look at, you know, parties by parties, faction and faction. Precious Dede is one of the veterans when it comes to female football in Nigeria. If she's saying this, then trust me, if Desire is not talking, if Onome is not talking, if a whole lot of girls in the team is not talking, or their guy is not talking, there is something inside right. of them. All right. But we're not going to start with that. We're going to start... <laughs> of uh, course. Uh, we're going to get to that later on. It's very explosive. Uh, and, of course, you know, um, people who have been uh, members of uh, football teams know how some of these issues uh, are being handled. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'd also like to get your opinion uh, on that as well. But let's start and uh, talk about the sports minister, uh, the minister of youth and sports, talking about Sonny Diary. Uh, he's saying that uh, preparation for uh, the 2020 Olympic Games starts now. He said this, um, you know, he put forward uh, his charge and vision 
while playing host to the president and board members of the badminton uh, federation. He, he assured, uh, he assured them that the lottery fund will be open uh, for preparation towards the Tokyo 2020 uh, Olympics. He appreciated the Nigerian Badminton Federation uh, in Abuja for making uh, Nigeria proud in winning medals at the uh, African Games. Uh, you, you also heard the minister on this show uh, talking about some of the gains from the 2019 African uh, Games and, of course, how he feels that uh, going forward, uh, looking at the World Championships and probably uh, in Tokyo, uh, he, he feels that Nigeria will do uh, well. And um, let, let's just see how it goes. So let, let's listen to uh, the minister talk, you know, just say some of the things I've highlighted, uh, you know, while he was hosting uh, the board of the Badminton Federation of Nigeria. We had gone from grass to grace in badminton. But just within the span of one year plus, the portion of badminton has come alive. Under this board, they organized several championships within, and they participated in a number of tournaments and championships abroad. The cumulative effect of all this was the impressive performance outing that we had at the uh, Africa Games. The board has said they are not relaxing their efforts because they continue to put in their best to ensure that uh, the Africa leadership position attained will not be relinquished, not even to the uh, Asians, but to leave the trophy at the Olympics. The Nigerian national team is number one in Africa. Really and truly, we are dominating every aspect of badminton in the continent of Africa presently. We, were, we had seven of our players qualify for the World Champ uh, Para Badminton Championship that just held um, in uh, Switzerland. But fortunately, we tried to process their visas and we couldn't get out their visas before the competition. It was a big blow because every African country was looking. That was by qualification, seven. It wasn't an easy fit, but for this, so right now, the sponsorship for that world championship, which they couldn't attend, we have diverted for them to attend an international para badminton championship in Denmark, which is also an Olympic qualifier. So as our players in badminton are struggling and striving to see how they can qualify, our para badminton team is also on the road to the Olympics next year. All right, uh, welcome back. You just listened to the palm sec of the sports ministry that talking about uh, Olusha Adeshola and of course Francis Obi, uh, the president of Nigerian Bad Meeting uh, Federation, um, you know, sharing their thoughts and uh, speaking of the vision, their plans for the 2020 uh, Tokyo Olympics. And uh, of course, the sports minister was there as well. All right, um, y your thoughts, um, Kendi. Uh, We've seen a lot of th things in bad meeting uh, of recent things that uh, you you could call you, you could say it's improvement you know Beautiful. in the right direction. Beautiful. Um, maybe in uh, about five years you know ago from today, I never knew bad meeting could be at this level mm -hmm. at this moment. And you know a board came in talking about the lot uh, the board led by Francis Obi, Obi, and they've been doing very beautiful. Already conquered Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa is already like you know in the back pocket mm -hmm. of this federation, and you know going about you know conquering the world and you know putting us in that pedestal and meeting up with the minister. You know when the minister came in, I think the basketball federation, the football association, talking about the NFL, were very swift to have met up with the president. But I think this is a good one. Meet up with the president, lay down, you know, all of your uh, um, um, troubles and, you know, challenges and see how you guys can come to a compromise on how to get things achieved. And um, the minister talking about uh, preparation starts now for Tokyo 2020. I think it's long overdue, mm -hmm. but he just came in and I love that statement. Every preparation for the next, you know, like the World Cup, the Olympics, it starts from the day, the, uh, the, the previous ended yeah. from the second day everybody starts preparation but 
the, a place like Nigeria, if we still start today, I think we should it's produce that. Bad. It shouldn't be, you know, uh, um, just talk. Then there should be work meeting up with the talk. And I like that. Meet up with the, with the minister. Don't sit in your corner and say, the minister should recognize mm -hmm. our federation. No, everybody should go there. It's a, you see, whether we like it or not, there is lobby in all of these things. Go there and lobby. Let them see you. Let them know you. And let your work also speak for you. The work is already speaking. But if you still will need some lobby, we, we just had the fifth um, Lagos Badminton Championship. Mm -hmm. Go there. Let them see you. And then you're already registered in their mind. And maybe the growth is just right at the corner where you don't even think is right. All right. So uh, I can't agree less with you, yeah. uh, Kenny. All of those things that you've said, uh, I mean, the growth is it's just it's staring at us yes, in the face. it's visible. Uh, it's, it's, it's visible yeah. uh, across yeah. across board. Uh, I've had... Um, Quite a few encounters with Francis. He's yeah. even a media friend. Yeah, so very, you, you very know a very, very passionate, passionate guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I hope he continues uh, that way because it that it's, way. it's a win-win situation I, for, I, for Nigeria. I think a friend of mine will say, okay, maybe the next level, because if it's passion, if it's, you know, wanting to do more, Francis Obi have got that. But we know someday, one day, Francis Obi will leave that seat. But he should lay down a template where the next person... It wouldn't, whether matter, you've got, it wouldn't matter who would, is there. Eh, it wouldn't matter whether you've got passion or not. A template that you just come in and know that in January, this is what we'll do for under 12, under 15, under 17 in functions. May. This, yeah. Exactly. So, you know, that will be moving forward.